Hi, in this video we will be talking about RNTCP and drugs. We will cover drugs in another part 2 video. Our videos are solely, solely based on Park textbook of community medicine. RNTCP stands for Revised National TB Control Program. As you must be already knowing, RNTCP deals with TB. So let us deal with TB in more detail. TB is considered to be the barometer of social welfare, which means you can assess the success, the success of the social welfare schemes of a country by the prevalence of TB in that country. The World TB Day is celebrated on 24th March. TB is the most common opportunistic infection for HIV in India. The National TB Institute is located in Bangalore and TB Research Center is in Chennai. As you must be already knowing, TB is caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis. This bacillus was discovered by Robert Koch and it is alcohol and acid fast. It is stained by Zeal Nielsen stain or Zedin stain. Generation time of TB bacillus is 20 hours. TB bacterium remains alive in sputum for one day and in droplet nuclei for 10 days. An interesting fact you can note is that without treatment, 50% of the TB patients will die, 25% will develop chronic infection and 25% will remain healthy. Did you know that every TB sputum positive patient can infect up to 10 to 15 individuals in a year? Next, you should know about something called annual risk of infection in relation to TB. It stands for the proportion of population that will be infected with TB in the course of one year. It tells about the incidence of TB infection and is also known as tuberculin conversion index. It is the best indicator to tell the magnitude of the problem of TB in a population. In India, the ARI is 1.7%. For every 1% rise in ARI, 50 smear sensitive cases will be detected per lakh population. Another thing, I told you about the incidence of TB, but what about the prevalence of TB infection in India? How do you measure that? You measure that by the standard tuberculin test and the prevalence in India is 40%. Next, some details about the staining properties of TB bacillus. As told earlier, TB is stained by Zedin stain and 25% sulfuric acid is used as decolorizer. The minimum bacillary load needed for TB positive case result is 10,000 bacilli per ml of sputum. This is the standard examination protocol for TB. If no bacilli is seen in 100 oil immersion fields, then the result is considered to be negative. If 1 to 9 bacilli are seen in 100 oil immersion fields, then the result is considered to be scanty. If 10 to 99 bacilli are seen in 100 oil immersion fields, then the result is considered to be plus 1. If 1 to 10 bacilli are seen per oil immersion field, then it is considered as plus 2. Finally, if greater than 10 bacilli are seen per oil immersion field, then it is considered as plus 3. Next, you must be wondering why RNTCP stands with, starts with revised. What was revised and why? Actually, the earlier program was called National TB Program, which was subsequently changed to Revised National Tuberculosis Control Program. So, what were the changes that were brought in? by RNTCP. First, difference was the objective. National TB program had the objective of early diagnosis and treatment of all TB cases in India, but that was practically difficult to achieve. So RNTCP on the other hand had a much more realistic objective. It aimed at successfully detecting 90% of all the incident TB cases and successfully treating 90% of all smear positive and 85% of all previously treated cases, that is, the relapse and the recurrence cases. RNTCP was based on DOT strategy. We will be dealing with DOTs a while later. Also, National TB program was more based on chest X-rays, while RNTCP was based on microscopy. So basically, under RNTCP strategy, when a patient with suspected TB came to hospital, his sputum is sent for AFB immediately, and another sample is sent the next morning. This is done because Coincidentality of the stat sample is around 80%, while that of the morning sample is higher, 93%. The samples are sent to RNTCP designated microscopy centers where they are tested. One RNTCP designated microscopy center is there per 1 lakh population. These centers are looked after by the senior TB lab supervisor. He rechecks all the smear positive cases and 10% of the smear negative cases. There is one senior lab 
supervisor per 5 microscopy centers that is per 5 lakh population in India. RNTCP based on DOT strategy became, began as a pilot project in 1993 and was launched as a national program in 1997 and by 2006 the entire country was under DOTS. I have been referring to DOTS for a while now so let us see what it is. DOT stands for Directly Observed Short Course Chemotherapy. The name is itself self-explanatory. It is called Directly Observed because in the intensive phase patients are made to take the pills under direct observation of the authorities and it is called Short Course because the current regimen is much shorter version of the earlier regimen. The five components of DOTS are Accountability, Good Quality Scooter Microscopy, Political Commitment, Uninterrupted Supply of Good Quality Drugs and Directly Observed Treatment. Under DOTS, care is given by the DOTS agents. These are mostly multipurpose workers, angry workers and guides. The treatment regimen is divided into two parts, the initial intensive phase and the later continuation phase. During the intensive phase, the patients are given one blistered pack of medicine every day, which the patient is supposed to take in front of the DOTS agent. Each blister pack contains only one day's medicine in the intensive phase. However, in the continuation phase, patient is given blister pack containing one week's medication at a time. The patient has to eat the first day's medicine immediately in front of the DOTS agent and only on return of the blister, empty blister is a new blister issued to the patient next week. So basically in the intensive phase, the patient has to come every day while in the, the continuation phase, he has to meet the DOTS agent once a week. This brings us to the end of this video. You can also watch our videos. The link is available here. Guys, do tell us about how you feel about our videos. You can also suggest us topics to do videos on by commenting on the section below. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel. Your support really motivates us to continue creating quality content on YouTube. You can also review our Facebook page. The link is available in the description box below. Thank you and bye bye.